Well, guys, um, our theme for this nation for, for this year is building a holy nation. Nuestro tema es construir una nación santa. And we said that God has called us to be a nation. Y Dios nos ha llamado a ser una nación. And God has also called us to transform nations. Y Dios nos ha llamado a transformar naciones. And God has given us um, a pattern y Dios nos ha dado un patrón that we could look at that will help us to transform nations. Que podemos ver para transformar las naciones. And that pattern is the new Jerusalem. Y ese patrón es la nueva Jerusalén. Which has 12 gates. Que tiene 12 puertas. We talked about the first gate in January. Hablamos de la primera puerta en enero. Which was the gate of Levi. Que era la puerta de Levi. Which speaks about spirituality. Que habla de la espiritualidad. And now we are talking about the second gate. Y hablamos de la segunda puerta ahora. That has to do with family. Que tiene que ver con la familia. So um, today I want to talk, uh, you know, Talk a little bit more about family, but especially the place of prayer. Yo quiero hablar de la familia, especialmente el lugar de oración. I want to talk about the place of prayer in family. El, el lugar de oración en la familia. Now you guys remember that I showed you Proverbs chapter 22, verse 27. Recuerda que les mostré en Proverbios capítulo 22. That shows that the foundation of a nation. Que muestra las fundaciones de la nación. Um, are really the families. Son realmente la familia. Proverbs 22, verse 27. Psalm 22, verse 27. Salmos 22, capítulo 27. In Psalm 22, verse 27. Salmos 22, 27. It says, all the ends of the world shall que, remember. Que todos los tiempos del mundo. And turn to the Lord. Recordar, and recordar. all the families of the nations shall worship you. Y todas las familias de las naciones te adorarán. So this verse talks about the families of the nations worshiping God. Esto habla de las nación, de las familias de las naciones adorando a Dios. So the basis of nations are families. Que la base de las naciones son las familias. And the basis of families are marriages. Y la base de las familias son las familias. Do you guys see the connection? Ven la conexión. The basis of 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 nations are families. La base de las naciones son familias. And the basic of families or marriages. Y la base de la familia son el matrimonio. Now, if you just understood what I just explained, si no entiendes lo que dije, parenthetically, proféticamente, parent, uh, parenthetically, you will realize that uh, marriage is not totally te das cuenta que el matrimonio no es totalmente a private decision. Una decisión privada. Marriage also has a public aspect to it. El matrimonio tiene un aspecto público. As goes the marriages, so goes a nation. Que así mientras va el matrimonio, así va la nación. So marriages have a impact. So los matrimonios tienen un impacto on the life of a nation. En la vida de la nación. Um, when families are separated. Cuando las familias son separadas. And children do not have their fathers. Y los niños no tienen a su padre. And um, Let's say those homes Digamos que esas hogares fall in poverty caen en pobreza. because the man is not there Porque el hombre no está ahí. Uh, uh, who's, who's the main provider uh, generally the main provider of the family Generalmente el hombre es el que provee en la familia. well actually the public has to pick up that cost y el público tiene que recoger esa carga. Are you guys with me? Están conmigo. The government has to pick up that cost. El gobierno tiene que coger and esa the carga. government means you and I will be charged taxes. Y, y significa <laughs> que tú y yo vamos a ser cobrado con impuestos. We have to pay. When those families get divorced, you have to, you, the public pays for that divorce. Cuando esa familia se divorcia, el público paga por ese divorcio. And if those children end up, if you guys remember the last message that I preached on the first Sunday of the month at night. Si recuerdan el primer mensaje del domingo que hice. I talked about the impact of the father, um, of absence of the father in the home. Hablé del impacto de la ausencia del hombre en la casa. It brings poverty into the families. Trae pobreza en la familia. Uh, uh, you know, so families where you have a single parent. Familias donde tienes un solo padre. Generally earn much less than when you have both parents. Generalmente obtiene menos ingresos que el que tiene dos I padres. I showed you that. Those children are also exposed to abuses. También les mostré que esos niños están expuestos a abusos. Those 
boys being raised without their parents are way more likely to use drugs los niños creciendo sin un padre son más usuales a to tomar to drogas commit, to commit a violent crime cometer un crimen violento and to end up in jail o terminar en la cárcel than those who have both of their parents que aquellos que tienen sus dos padres well all of those costs y todos esos costos society has to pay for them la sociedad tiene que pagarlos the, 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 the effects of drugs in society la efecto de las drogas en la sociedad jails las cárceles all of that have to be paid for todo tiene que ser pagado by you and I who are working because the government has to pay for them and in order for the government to pay for them they have to charge you taxes para ti y yo que estamos trabajando y el gobierno tiene que cobrarnos los impuestos so I'm trying to help you understand there's a relationship between families and nations estoy tratando de entender are you guys with there's a relationship between families and nations. Hay una relación en familia y nación. They are not as disconnected as you think. No están tan desconectadas como piensas. And, uh, and, and decision in marriages are not simply a private decision. Y las decisiones en el matrimonio no son privadas. They are simply, they are also public decisions. También son decisiones públicas. And that's why y es por eso que um, it's important when marriages are taking the wrong direction es importante cuando los matrimonios tocan la forma equivocada there must be figures in society que tengan que haber figuras en la sociedad that says we are headed the, right, the wrong direction que les diga que están yendo por el camino equivocado because ultimately the cost will be paid for by society porque el costo va a ser pagado por la sociedad and the cost doesn't just come in the form of money y no solo viene en forma de dinero when a young person goes out there because he wasn't raised uh, you know with his with his dad for example cuando un joven va ahí que no fue criado por su padre por ejemplo well when they commit a violent crime cuando comen, comete un crimen violento you don't only pay it with money no solo lo pagas con dinero actually that is paid for with life sino que lo pagas con la vida does that make sense tiene sentido so this thing cost esto tiene costo so anyway so today we talk, we talk about families Hoy and de we familia. talk about marriages. Y de matrimonios. Now, if you read the statistics, si lee las estadísticas, you will hear that they say vas a ver 50, que dicen, 52% of Christian marriages end up in a divorce. 52% de los matrimonios cristianos terminan en divorcio. 50% of Christian marriages end up in a divorce. 50% terminan en divorcio. So that's what they, the statistics say. Es lo que la estadística dice. But I beg to differ. Pero yo difiero en esto. I, 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 I differ from that. Yo difiero. Even though the statistics say that. A pesar de que las estadísticas digan esto. You need to know just because two people go to church. A pesar de que dos personas van a la iglesia. It does not mean that they have a Christian marriage. No significa que tengan un matrimonio cristiano. I'm going to say that again. Just because people, two people go to church. No solo porque dos personas van a la iglesia. Or just because two people are Christians. O dos personas son cristianos. Does not mean that their marriage is Christian. No significa que su matrimonio es cristiano. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4 verses 4 and 5. La Biblia dice en 1 Timoteo. For every creature of God is good. Que cada criatura de Dios es and bueno. nothing is to be refused if it is received with thanksgiving. Y nada es si tú has tomado con acción now de pay attention to the second part. Mira esto, la segunda parte. For the, the Bible says for um, it is sanctified by the word of God and by prayer. Porque es santificado la palabra de Dios y de oración. Now let me help you understand, understand that verse. Y déjame ayudarte a entender este verso. In the early church there was a problem of food sacrifice to idols. En la iglesia primitiva había un problema de sacrificar comida a los ídolos. And some people in the early church believed that you should eat those kind of meat. Y las personas creían que tenían que comer esas comidas. And others believed that you shouldn't eat that kind of meat. Y otros que no debías de comer esas comidas. And there was a fight. Y había un desacuerdo. Paul said, y Pablo dijo, "Hey, listen." Escuchen. Uh, you guys can eat anything. Ustedes pueden comer lo que sea. Because he said everything is sanctified. Porque todo es santificado. Uh, you know, as long as you take it with uh, Thanksgiving. A, me, a, que, a menos que lo hagas con acción de gracias. And then he said gracia. everything is sanctified. Todo es santificado. By prayer. Y todo es santificado por oración. And por by oración. the word. Y de la palabra. Actually, the, the French doesn't. It's, it doesn't just say it is sanctified. No solo dice que es santificado. Uh, put the French version. The French version says everything is sanctified. Dice la versión francesa que todo es santificado. Uh, 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 um, through prayer a través de la oración parce que tout est sanctifié par la parole everything is sanctified todo es santificado through the word a través de la palabra and thanksgiving y dando gracias now pay attention to this y pongan atención a esto paul was talking about food 
Pablo estaba hablando de la comida. He said, what sanctifies the food? Dijo que santifica la comida. Is not the fact. No es el hecho that it was bought by a Christian. Que fue comprada por un cristiano. He said, what sanctifies the food? Lo que santifica la comida. It is the word. Es la palabra. And prayer. Y la oración. In other words. En otras palabras. I can go to a uh, to Publix, Yo puedo ir a Publix with my wife con mi esposa, and we go and we buy food together. Y compramos comida juntos. We, get the, we get the rice, compramos el arroz, we get the oil, compramos el aceite, we get the salt, la sal, the seasoning, las and we come home y venimos a casa, and we cook the rice together. Y cocinamos el arroz juntos. But in reality, Pero en realidad, until We pray over that food. Hasta que por we esa speak comida. the word of God over it. Hablamos la palabra de Dios and sobre pray ella. over it. Y oramos sobre the ella. food is not sanctified yet. La comida no es santificada aún. Even though both of us are in uh, both of us um, are Christians. A pesar de que ambos somos cristianos. Just because two Christians meet together. No solo porque dos cristianos se juntan. And they walk into a home. Y caminan en un lugar. Does not mean that the marriage is sanctified. No significa que el matrimonio es santificado. In other words, you can have two Christians en otras palabras, puedes tener dos cristianos in a pagan marriage. En un matrimonio pagano. In other words, it's two people who go to church. Son dos personas que van a la iglesia, They are faithful in church. Que son fieles en la iglesia. But when you compare their marriages, Pero cuando comparas sus matrimonios, their habits, sus hábitos, their interactions, sus interacciones, and you compare that with two people who don't know the Lord. Y comparas con unas personas que no conocen al when Señor. When you compare the two marriages, cuando compara los you dos see matrimonios, exactly the same habits, ves los mismos hábitos, the same reactions, las mismas reacciones, the same problems. Los mismos problemas. So by looking at the marriages, y al ver el matrimonio, you could not tell no puedes descifrar which, who is Christian, who is not Christian. Cuál es cristiano y cuál es no. So basically you have a Christian Básicamente tienes un cristiano and, a, and an unbeliever, y un no creyente, a believer, un creyente, an unbeliever, y un no a Christian, creyente, a pagan, cristiano, both pagano, of them are married, dos están but when dos you están casados, look at their marriages, pero cuando ves a sus they look exactly the same. Se ven exactamente lo mismo. Because the marriage itself Porque el matrimonio a sí mismo has never been sanctified. Nunca ha sido santificado. So you don't get a Christian marriage. No tienes un matrimonio cristiano. You don't automatically get a Christian marriage. Automáticamente no tienes un matrimonio cristiano. Just because both of us are Christians. Solo porque ambos sean cristianos. Are you guys with me? ¿Están conmigo? Just like my food is not sanctified. Así como mi comida no es santificada. Because my wife and I, porque mi esposa we y yo, both believers, somos creyentes, and we use our money y usamos nuestro and dinero, purchase the food y compramos and la comida, brought it into our home. Y la trajimos a la that casa, does not make the food sanctified. No hace la comida santa. Because we are Christian. Porque somos cristianos. And your marriage is not sanctified y tu matrimonio no es simply santificado, because both of you are Christians. Simplemente porque ustedes sean cristianos. Are you guys with me? ¿Están conmigo? What is it that sanctifies the marriage. ¿Qué es lo que santifica el matrimonio? The same thing that sanctifies food lo mismo que santifica that la comes into your home. Que viene a tu casa. The Bible says it is sanctified la Biblia dice que es santo, number one número uno, through the word. A través de la palabra. Through the word. A través de la palabra. So I'm going to say, Father, Yo voy a decir, Padre, thank you for providing for me. Gracias por proveer, your Padre. word says the Lord is not is my shepherd. Tu palabra dice que el Señor es I mi pastor. shall not want. No, pe, no so I seré. know this food is provided you have made for me Yo sé que esta comida es and I thank you for it y te doy gracias in por the ella. name of Jesus Christ en el nombre de Jesucristo. my food is sanctified Mi comida santificada. does that make sense? ¿Tiene sentido? does that make sense? ¿Tiene sentido? and I have to do that every day y tengo que hacer eso todo I día. don't just do it once and for all no solo lo hago una I vez, do that every day lo hago todos los días. your marriage is sanctified tu matrimonio es santificado through the word a través de la palabra and prayer y oración. In, in, in other words en otras palabras, what makes a marriage sanctified lo que hace un matrimonio what santo, makes your marriage Christian lo que hace tu matrimonio cristiano, number one número uno, the word la palabra. we apply the word of God Aplicamos la palabra de Dios in the way that we live en la with each other en la forma que vivimos con uno con we otro. apply the word of God Aplicamos la palabra in de Dios. the way that we interact en la forma with que each other interactuamos uno con otro. when the word of God Cuando la palabra the de Dios, principle of the word of God el principio de la palabra de is Dios, present in our marriage life está presente en and we are living it y lo vivimos. we have a Christian marriage the Bible 
Bible says, husband love your wife. La Biblia dice, esposo ama a esposa. As Christ loves the church. Como Cristo ama la iglesia. When I start to apply that principle in my marriage. Cuando aplico este principio en mi matrimonio. That's when I have a Christian marriage. Es cuando tengo un matrimonio and cristiano. That's when my marriage is sanctified. Es cuando mi matrimonio my marriage is not sanctified just because I come to Tabernacle of Glory. No solo es santificado al venir a Tabernacle de Gloria. And my interaction is my wife is just like a gambler out there who doesn't know the law. Does, does that make sense? My marriage becomes sanctified when what God says I begin to apply it in my marriage. The Bible says wives respect your husband. So my marriage is sanctified or your marriage is sanctified when you respect your husband when you're careful with what you say. So if you have a, uh, if you are in a marriage where you have a selfish husband married with a disrespectful wife and they end up getting a divorce and then we say 52% of Christian marriages are breaking it was never a Christian marriage because they were never applying the word does that make sense? they were never applying the word they were never living the word they were coming to church and perhaps they were Christians but the marriage itself was not functioning based on Christian principles the marriage itself was not functioning based on Christian ethics and you would be amazed to see how rampant that is in the church often in the church when you hear people when you hear people's reflection about marriage how they think about marriage it's no different than what you hear from the news it's no different from what you you hear in the what you read in the in the newspapers or on social media and we wonder why we are getting the same result in the church that the world is getting because we, we are living our marriage lives by the world's principles instead of biblical principles. Does that make sense? So number one, the Bible says what sanctifies everything, number one is the word. Applying the word in the way that we interact with each other. Number two, the Bible says marriage is... Uh, uh, Everything is sanctified, including marriages. Todo santificado, incluyendo el matrimonio. With prayer. A través de la oración. The second element of a Christian marriage. El segundo elemento de un matrimonio cristiano. Is not only continual practices of the uh, uh, of the Word of God. No solo continuando practicando la palabra de Dios. But it is also continual prayer. Sino que una vida de continua de oración. Uh, in a Christian marriage. En un matrimonio cristiano. Couples. Las parejas. Are willing. Están dispuestas and they find time y encuentran tiempo to pray together. Para orar juntos. Every time you pray together as a couple, Cada vez que oran juntos como pareja, you are sanctifying your marriage. Están santificando are tu you matrimonio. guys make sense? Están conmigo. Two things, the word and secondly prayer the word to tell you what to do and prayer to give you the capacity to do it because you may know what to do and you are not able to do what you are supposed to do because the flesh is weak so prayer sanctifies your marriage there's a, 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 a there's a word that says uh, uh, the family that prays together stays together. It is not just a nice dictum. Okay? It's not just a nice saying. It is proven statistically. Statistically, less than 10% of couples who pray together regularly de parejas que oran juntos regularmente end up in a divorce. terminan en un divorcio Less menos than 10 menos de 10% of couples de las parejas who pray regularly together que oran regularmente juntos end up in a divorce. terminan en un divorcio 
because because the the, the a prayer porque la oración protects the marriage protege el matrimonio but not only protects the marriage no solo protege el matrimonio prayer also tells you también la oración nos dice uh, when something is wrong cuando algo está mal spiritually espiritualmente and one thing once things start to go south spiritually y una cosa empieza a ir espiritualmente it's going to manifest in other areas se va a manifestar en las otras áreas but prayer tells you pero la oración te dice when something when 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 there is something wrong cuando hay algo mal when there is consistent prayer in that marriage cuando hay oración consistente as soon as there is something wrong apenas hay algo malo spiritually espiritualmente you're going to pick it up tú vas a detectarlo notice that Sin and prayer Date cuenta que la oración y la, el pecado not live together. no viven juntos. Sin and prayer el pecado y la oración never work together nunca trabajan juntos for a long time. por mucho tiempo. One is gonna drive out the other one. Uno va a sacar al otro. Either sin ya sea el pecado will drive out your prayer life va a sacar tu vida de oración or your prayer life o tu vida de oración will drive out sin va a sacar el pecado but, but they will not stay together for a long time pero no se van a tener juntos por mucho so tiempo so when you have a prayer life cuando tienes in your una family vida de oración en tu familia when as a couple we pray together cuando regularly como pareja oramos juntos and as a family we pray together regularly y como familia oramos juntos regularmente as soon as there is a problem Apenas hay un problema. As soon as you know pride starts to step in. Apenas el orgullo empieza a caminar. Lust starts to step in. La, el, la pérdida es combina. Selfishness starts to step in. El egoísmo empieza a caminar. Unforgiveness starts to step in. Falta de perdón empieza Anytime a entrar. Anytime any of these things or any other sin starts to step in. Cualquier pecado que empieza a entrar en tu vida. That can wreck that marriage. Eso puede quebrar el matrimonio. The first thing is going to affect. Lo primero que va a afectar is the prayer life. Es la vida de oración. Suddenly that person won't wanna, won't, won't wanna pray anymore. De repente la persona no puede orar. And you're gonna know that there is something. Y vas a darte cuenta que hay algo. It may be that person has become too prideful now. Ya sea que se ha vuelto más orgulloso. It may be there is an unforgiveness in the heart. Ya sea que no tiene perdón en su vida. It may be uh, there is lust going on. Apen o hay un pecado. Or whatever correr. it may be. O lo que sea que sea. But But, 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 but the lack of passion for prayer Pero la falta de will tell you te va a decir that there is something wrong. Que hay algo mal. And you would have a better chance to catch it early y vas a, a, a before más this antes, thing causes a great damage. Antes de que cause un daño mayor. Does that make sense? ¿Tiene sentido? So prayer is important. Así que la oración es importante. So, because prayer is so important, y por eso es que es muy importante. I want to focus on prayer today. Quiero enfocarme en la oración or, el día or de hoy. I'm just going to give you three things about prayer today. Y le voy a dar tres cosas de la oración And hoy. next week I'm going to continue with it. Y la siguiente semana voy But a continuar. Today, to, or rather to close. Pero para cerrar, I want to focus on three things. Voy a enfocarme en tres cosas. Three areas. Tres áreas. I call them um Areas of weaknesses. Yo las llamo, llamo áreas de debilidad. You need to know that Satan always attacks. Tienes que saber que Satanás ataca. In your area of weakness. En tu área de debilidad. When Jesus was fasting. Cuando Jesús estaba ayunando. For 40 days and 40 nights. Por 40 días y 40 noches. Satan came and tempted him with food. Satanás vino y lo tentó con la comida. He didn't tempt him with a woman. No lo tentó con una mujer. During those 40 days. Durante esos 40 días. Because that was not his weakness at this point. Porque no era su debilidad a ese punto. Now, I'm sure that Satan did that later on. Estoy seguro que Satanás lo hizo después. Yeah. You guys know that Jesus was tempted with you know, sexually too. ¿Sabes que right? Jesús fue tentado sexualmente también? The Bible says he was tempted in all things. Dice la Biblia que fue tentado en todas you know what, las cosas. You know what all means? ¿Sabes lo que todo it significa? It means all. Significa todo. <laughs> That's what it means. Eso significa. So the Bible says he was tempted in all things. La Biblia dice que fue tentado But en todas las cosas. At that time, pero a ese tiempo, Satan didn't tempt him with a woman. Satanás no lo tentó con una mujer. Satan tempted him with food. Lo tentó con Why? comida. ¿Por qué? Because that was the area porque era la área in which he was weak en lo que él era at that time. en ese tiempo. Satan Satan will tempt you in the area Satanás te va a tentar en el área in which you are weak. En lo que tú eres débil. So now I want to give you three areas of weakness. Te voy a dar tres áreas de debilidades. 
for all men para todo hombre so what I'm giving you is not just your husband no solo doy para tu marido so today I'm gonna close by you know teaching the, the women how to pray for their husband sino que voy a mostrar a las mujeres como orar por sus maridos or giving you some advice on certain key areas that you need to focus on in your prayer life for your husband para tu área, para que next ores. week I'll teach the brothers how to pray for your wife. Does that make sense? But today we're going to teach the sisters. I want to close teaching the sisters how to pray for their husbands. Number one. When you are praying for your husband. When you are praying for your husband. You need to pray for his work life. Ora por su vida profesional. You need to pray for your husband's work life. Ora por tu marido por la vida en su trabajo. So, a man's work life is important to him. La vida de su trabajo del hombre es importante. Because a man, porque el hombre, uh, a man's work, el trabajo del hombre, or a man's identity, es la identidad del hombre, is connected with his work. Está conectada con su trabajo. A man does, doesn't just go to work. El hombre no solo va al trabajo. A man doesn't just go to work. El hombre no solo va al trabajo. To provide for his family. Para proveer para la familia. He goes to work. Él va al trabajo. So he can feel that he's somebody. Para que él se sienta que es alguien. Did you guys get that? I, I want you to guys understand that. Entienden esto? Quiero que entiendan esto. That's why most men who are multimillionaires still work. Por eso es que muchos hombres multimillonarios todavía trabajan. They have enough money to retire. A pesar de que tienen dinero para retirarse. They still work. Es todavía trabajan. Because work porque el trabajo is connected to a man's identity. Está conectado con la identidad del hombre. And it's biblical. Y es bíblico. If you look at si miran the Bible, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. En la Biblia en Génesis capítulo 2 verso 7. When God created Adam, cuando Dios creó a Adán, he created him dust of the earth. Él lo creó de la polvo de la tierra. The Bible says the Lord formed the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground. La palabra de que Dios formó al hombre de la tierra. And breathed into him the of the breath of life y le dio el and man de la vida. became a living being y se en un notice hombre. that man came directly from the ground Mira que el viene de la now tierra. look at verse 15. Mira el verso 15 in verse 15 it says then y después, the Lord the Lord God took man and put him in the garden of Eden, puso en el huerto de Eden to tend it and keep it para que lo labrara y guardase. And pay attention, that's Je Genesis chapter 2. Y eso es Génesis capítulo 2. He says the Lord took the man in the garden of Eden. Que el Dios tomó al, al hombre al jardín del Edén. Man Eden. did not begin to work. El hombre no pensó a comer a, a trabajar. After sinning. Después del trabajo. Even when the Adam was in the garden of Eden. A pesar de que Adán estaba en el huerto de Edén. And he had Eden, not sinned yet. Y no había pecado aún. God had commanded him to work. Dios le había comandado a orar. And Adam was working in paradise. Y Adán estaba trabajando en el paraíso. Work is not a punishment. El trabajo no es un castigo. It becomes hard after uh, the fall of man. Se convierte en malo después de la caída del hombre. But Adam worked Pero Adán trabajó in paradise. En el paraíso. So pay attention to this. Y pongan atención a eso. Adam came out of the ground vino del suelo And God gave him the responsibility to work the ground. Y Dios le dio la responsabilidad de trabajar Adam la tierra. Adam came from the ground. Vino de la tierra. And had a responsibility to work the ground. Y tuvo la responsabilidad de trabajar There la tierra. There is a relationship between where he where he came from. Hay una relación de donde vino. Which is to which is connected to who he is. Que está conectado a quién es él. And what he does. Y lo que él hace. Those two things are connected. Dos cosas están conectadas. Who a man is. Quién un hombre es. And what a man does. Are connected. Están conectadas. The brothers who are in this place. Los hombres que están aquí. Sh shout glory. Digan gloria. We need to understand that. Tenemos que entender eso. Who a man is and es, what he does. Y lo que hace. Are connected. Están conectados. When men get together. Cuando los hombres se juntan. They talk about what they do. Ellos hablan de lo que hacen. When men get together, they talk about what they do. Cuando los hombres se juntan, hablan de lo que hacen. They talk about their accomplishments. Hablan de los sus logros. They talk about their successes. Hablan de sus éxitos. They talk about what they would like to do. Hablan de lo que quisieran hacer. And that's natural to them. Y es naturalmente para ellos. And that's part of their identity. Parte de su identidad.
as with me. Están conmigo. A woman is different. La mujer es diferente. You realize when man was, cuando la mujer, when God was creating man, cuando Dios creó al hombre, he took man out of the ground, lo tomó del suelo, and gave them the responsibility to work the ground. Y le dio la responsabilidad de trabajar el suelo. Therefore, there is a there is a connection between his identity and his work. Hay por eso una conexión entre su identidad y su trabajo. A woman is different. La mujer es diferente. When God was created Eve, cuando Dios creó a Eva, He did not take her directly from the ground. No la tomó directo del suelo. The Bible says He took her from the rib that Adam had. Dice que la tomó de la costilla and que la tomó. From tenía. that rib, y, He formed a woman. Y de esa costilla formó una mujer. The woman was born out of relationship la mujer fue nacida de la relación. therefore her identity is connected with relationship Por eso su identidad está conectado so a la here's relación. the difference between a man and a woman Aquí está la diferencia entre un hombre y mujer. a man un hombre, you could be the best wife puede ser la mejor esposa, and, and, and treat him as a king in the house y tratarlo como rey en la casa, and give him everything he wants in the house y darle todo lo que quiere en la and casa. he has a perfect man Marriage, and you love him and you embrace him you give him everything in the home but if that man is failing in his work life Se está fallando su if vida he financiera. feels that he's not accomplishing anything Se siente que no está todo. if he feels that he's not having success in his professional life Se siente que no tiene éxito en su vida you will have a depressed husband Vas a tener un hombre depresivo. no matter how much you love him no, importa no lo matter amas. how much you blow him kisses no cuanto lo beses. if he's not getting promotion at work si no tiene if his en el business trabajo. is failing si está if, he's not, if, he's, if he's not being fulfilled si no está siendo llenado, if work life es you got a miserable man Tienes un hombre miserable. A woman on the other side Una mujer en el otro lado can have all the professional success. Puede tener todo el éxito. She's getting promotion after promotion. Tiene promoción después de promoción. She's getting degrees after degrees. Tiene títulos sobre She's títulos. got a great salary. Tiene un gran salario. They love her at work. La aman en el trabajo. But relationship wise if the relationship with her husband si la con su the esposo, relationship with her children la con sus hijos, the relationship with her family la con su familia, the relationship with people around her la su, la if those ella, relationships are not going right si esa no, va bien, no matter how big the check is no, no matter cheque, how well she'll be at work no she will trabajo, be miserable ella va a ser are you guys with me? Están conmigo. And it's 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 in the way that men es la and a woman was designed. En la hombre y la mujer fueron diseñados. So I'm saying this to so so you can understand. Digo esto para que puedan entender. That a man and a woman is different. Que el hombre y la mujer son diferentes. So when you are praying for your man, cuando oras por el hombre, you gotta pray for his work life. Tienes que orar por su vida de trabajo. You gotta pray for his professional success. Ora por la your husband's success at work el, el de tu is en el connected trabajo. with the health of your marriage. Está con la salud oh, de tu I'm going to say that again. Your husband's professional success el, el éxito is de tu connected with the health of your marriage. Está con la salud de tu you matrimonio. can't really have a healthy marriage no tener un and a happy marriage if you feliz. have a depressed husband. Si un un and hombre, if his work is not going right, depresivo. he's going to be depressed si tu, and if he's depressed, Press is going to affect the marriage. Oh, is anybody learning anything? Let the brothers say amen. Que los hermanos digan amen. Now, I am saying this on purpose. Yo lo digo esto a propósito. Because we are living in a culture where they are, how do I say this? Feminizing men, womanizing men. We don't even today. If you are not a man of a strong character, you will feel guilty about working. There is a culture nowadays that makes a man feel guilty about working. A man is supposed to work. A man is supposed to work. El está supuesto a trabajar. And he's not just supposed to work out there so he can get a check. No solo he works out, he works to be a man. Para trabajar, tener un cheque, trabaja para ser un hombre. 
But we are, we, we are living in a culture where, where they're telling you that's unimportant. Pero vivimos en una cultura que te dice que no es importante. But it is important. Pero sí es importante. And that's why you end up with depressed men. You get you end up with with, with men who have no sense of manhood whatsoever. Y por eso hay hombres que se sienten que no son dignos. So what that means too? Y qué significa también? In a marriage. Que en un matrimonio. You gotta ask your husband about his work life. Tienes que preguntarle a tu marido por su vida. ¿Cómo estuvo la oficina? Show him you're interested in his work life. En su vida de trabajo. Because this happen. ¿Qué pasa? If he's working out there, si está trabajando allá, maybe he's working in the insurance business. Ya sea está trabajando en el negocio. But you're like me, I'm not in the insurance business. En el negocio de los seguros. That's his world. Ese es su mundo. That's his thing. Esa es su cosa. You know, so I let him do his thing. Yo voy a dejar que él haga su cosa. So basically, básicamente, that man he comes home. Ese hombre viene a casa. And he has nobody to talk to. Y no tiene a nadie con quien hablar. About, there is nobody who applauds him. Who no hay, applauses him? No hay nadie que lo aplaude. About his success. De, de su about éxito, his promotion. De su promoción. About the deal that he just got. Del trato about que acaba the de contract. Hacer, del contrato. So while you are not listening to all of that, mientras no escuchas nada de eso, he's got a secretary in the office. Él tiene una secretaria en la oficina. <laughs> Every time he closes a deal, Cada vez que un trato, that secretary says, wow, you're so good. Esa dice, wow, you're que so eres. smart. Eres muy wow, I wish that the Lord had blessed me with somebody. Ya sea que el Señor me con un así. Mm -hmm. So one of the ways that you keep your man Una forma que tienes a tu hombre is by being interested in his professional life. Es ser interesada en la vida profesional. And not only interested, no solo interesada, supporting him ayudándolo in his professional life. En su vida profesional. And I'm going to say why later on. Y Does that make sense? Qué. Let yes. me go to the second point because the second point is connected with what I'm saying right now. Déjame ir al segundo punto porque está conectado. So when you are praying, cuando oras, pray for your husband's professional success. Ora por el éxito financiero de, uh, That's profesional. That's very important. Es muy importante. It's connected to, um, it's connected to his, uh, um, uh, how do I say, to his fulfillment in life. Está conectado con su llenura en la vida. And that has an impact on the home. Y tiene un impacto en el Number trabajo. Two, Número when dos. You're, when you're praying for your husband. Cuando oras por tu marido. Pray for his self-esteem. Ora por su es, uh, autoestima. Pray for his self-esteem. Ora por su autoestima. Now there are two things that you can have with a man. Hay dos cosas que puede tener con un hombre. You can have a man who has a low self-esteem. Puede tener un hombre con baja autoestima. Or you could have a man who has an exaggerated self-esteem. O un hombre que tiene una autoestima And exagerada. And either one is a problem. Y cualquiera de las dos es un problema. First of all, a man with a low self-esteem. Un hombre con una autoestima baja. And it may be that it may be a low self-esteem. Puede ser una autoestima permanently. baja. Permanente. Permanently. Uh, because that's a part of his personality Porque es parte de su personalidad. Um, or simply because he's going through a moment where he's down oh, por, está por un momento que va en baja. but here's what I'm going to tell you Pero es lo que te voy a, decir. He, a, a person doesn't have to suffer La persona no debe sufrir with low self-esteem a man does not, does not need to suffer el hombre no debe sufrir with low self-esteem con una autoestima baja to find himself in need of encouragement para encontrar el motivación no matter who you are no importa quién eres at one point or another in your life en algún punto de tu vida you're going to feel insecure about yourself te vas a sentir inseguro de ti mismo you heard what i said escuchaste lo que dije yeah even you if, if even if you don't suffer a pesar de que no sufres of low self -esteem. de auto But no autoestima matter who you are, no importa quién tú eres no, matter who a man is, no importa que, quién hombre sea at some point in his life, de algún punto de tu he's vida gonna face a situation vas a encontrar una situación where he feels insecure, donde se siente inseguro where he's not sure donde no está seguro if he can really meet that challenge, si puede llenar ese, ese where he's not trabajo. sure no puede estar if seguro. he can really get that task done si puede terminar ese trabajo. And what are the most important ministry y uno de los ministerios más importantes of a woman de una mujer next to a man junto al hombre is the ministry of encouragement. Es el ministerio de motivación. Yeah. Sí. 
No matter how strong your husband appears to be. No importa cuán grande y fuerte es tu marido. He has his own insecurities. También tiene sus inseguridades. Are you guys with me? Están conmigo. It may be permanent. Puede ser permanente. It may be something that or it may be the situation. O puede ser una situación. I told you guys uh, probably one of my most well-known books. Uno de mis libros más famosos. It is Jezebel Unveiled. Es Jezebel al descubierto. Um I've written a lot of books. Yo he escrito muchos libros. But that book is really my bestseller. Pero ese libro es mi mejor vendido. Everywhere I go around the world, that's the book they ask for. Que cada vez que voy al mundo, a todas las partes, es el libro que preguntan. But when I wrote that book, I didn't believe I could write that book. Pero cuando escribí ese libro, no creí que podía escribirlo. I was, I was, the church had just started. La iglesia acababa de empezar. We didn't have a lot of people helping us. No teníamos muchas personas ayudándonos. I was doing a little bit of everything at the church. Yo hacía un poco de todo en iglesia. Uh, um, from uh, you know IT um, to accounting to de this and that and that I was involved in a lot of things de IT a la contabilidad. because we didn't have a lot of people yet Porque no teníamos muchas personas. and at that time I was I was in graduate school y estaba graduándome en la escuela. so I was in school at the same time y estaba en la escuela al mismo tiempo. and I only had 15 days Solo tenía 15 días of Christmas vacation de vacaciones de Navidad. I knew I needed to write that book y sabía que tenía que escribir ese libro. but I didn't pero no sabía But I didn't really think that I could write it. ni pensaba que podría escribirlo the person who told me that I could write it la persona que me dijo que podía escribirlo Pat. fue Pat She said, you can write that book in 15 days. Dijo, Tú puedes escribirlo en 15 Go días. and lock yourself up in a hotel. Ve y en un hotel. And you're going to write that book. Y escribe ese libro. I didn't believe it, but Pat believed it. No lo creí, pero Pat lo so I agreed to write the book. Y a Not because el libro. I believe I could do it. No porque yo creía I agreed poder. to write it because Pat believed. Yo creí, lo, lo and to my, to my amazement. Y para mi sombro, instead of writing that book in 15 days, en vez de escribirlo en 15 días, I ended up writing the book in 10 days. Lo escribí en 10 Because my wife Por, believed in me. Oh. Creyó en me. Somebody shout glory. Diga Gloria. So one of the best, one of the greatest gifts, one of the most important ministry of a woman next to a man más de la mujer is the ministry of encouragement. Es el de la And that's why the, you, we have the proverb behind every great man. Y por eso el de que There cada, is a great woman. Hay una gran mujer. When you see, often when you see a man accomplish great things, cuando ves un hombre contemplar grandes cosas, it's because cosas, there is a woman es porque hay una mujer that you may not see, que tú no ves, whose name you may not know, que tu nombre no conoces, who believes, que cree, that he can accomplish great things, que él puede alcanzar grandes cosas, and that's why he accomplishes great things, y es por eso que alcanza grandes cosas, because because at at each Uh, each man Porque cada at a certain moment in his life en a, en cierto can momento, feel that he's not up to the task. Puede sentirse que no está apto para el, la, el reto. Are you guys with me? Están conmigo. By the way, De hecho, by the way, this is why also es por eso, if you want to stay married for a long time never degrade your husband. Nunca degrades a tu hombre. Never degrade your husband. Nunca degrades Do a tu hombre. Do not degrade the men that you're living with. Nunca degrades al hombre con el que vives. Do not tell him that you know you're worth nothing. Nunca le digas que no vales nada. And in fact, de hecho, the more vulnerable he becomes, lo más vulnerable él se convierte. The more you need to protect him. Lo más que tú tienes que protegerlos. A man, remember that I told you, a man's self-esteem is connected to his work. La autoestima del hombre está conectada con su trabajo. The worst thing you can do to a man Lo peor que puedes hacerle un hombre is, is tell him es decirle, you amount to nothing tú no sirves para nada. when he does not have a job. Cuando no tiene un trabajo. If he's a man, he already feels bad about the fact that he's not working. Si es un hombre, se siente mal porque no está trabajando. When you're telling him you're you're bringing you're not bringing nothing in this house. Cuando le dice no estás trayendo you're not allowed to anything. No estás sirviendo para nada. You give him a double blow. Le das un doble puñalada. Are you guys with me? Están conmigo. This is also very important. Es por eso muy importante. If you are married, si estás casada, and as a woman, y como mujer, you end up making more money than your husband. Haces más dinero que tu marido. 
You need to know that's a fragile situation. Tienes que saber que es una situación muy frágil. Because technically it's an abnormal situation. Porque es una situación abnormal. It's, now it may not be you or I who created it. No seamos yo o tú For example, creamos. in Florida. Por ejemplo, en Florida. Um, uh, you know, jobs that have to do with the health industry. Los trabajos de la industria de la salud. Pay more than other jobs. Pagan más que otros trabajos. When I was in New York, I learned accounting. Yo que estaba en Nueva York aprendí in contabilidad. New York with a job in accounting, I would get up, you would get a great salary at Wall Street. En, en contabilidad voy a tener with un buen an trabajo. MBA, pero con mi MBA, MBA like New York, en un lugar de Nueva York, a master's in business, you will get a great job. En un maestría en negocios, probably an over six figure job. Vas a tener una, un negocio, un But you move to Florida bueno. with an MBA, pero te mueves a Florida con un it's MBA, a different story. es una historia diferente. Maybe with an MBA, tal vez con un MBA, and your wife is a nurse, y tu, tra y tu mujer es una enfermera, she may end up earning more than you and way more than you. Puede hacer más que tú y mucho más que tú. It's not because you didn't make efforts in life. No es porque no hiciste esfuerzos en esta vida. that's the way it is. Sino porque es la forma There de ser. There are things that are beyond our control. Hay cosas que están más allá de nuestro control. But you need to understand, Pero tienes que entender even though it's beyond our control, que está fuera de nuestro control. We have things beyond our control hay cosas fuera de nuestro that control put us in an abnormal situation. Que nos pone en una situación subnormal. Because the biblical pattern is Porque el patrón bíblico the es husband que el marido is supposed to be the main provider. Debe ser el, el proveedor Are you guys with principal. Me? So, When you find yourself in a situation like this, Cuando te encuentras en una situación así, now if you start degrading that God, si empiezas a degradar a ese tipo, degrade, now, now, first of all, let me back up. Let's go back to biblical principles first. Déjame ir al principio bíblico primero. Even though we are living in an abnormal situation, a pesar de que vivimos una situación abnormal, that does not change the biblical principles. Eso no cambia el principio bíblico. Just because you bring the check no solo porque traes un cheque, does not mean that you get to wear the pants. No, 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 ya oh, wow. es el que I'm preaching good. Amen, Pastor Greg. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bishop, amen. Hallelujah, Bishop. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll say amen. Yo lo voy a decir. I'm going to tell you things that you'll never hear on social media. Te voy a decir cosas que no vas a escuchar And en I'm going to tell you things that you won't hear on CNN. Y te voy a decir cosas que no vas a escuchar en CNN. But I got to tell you what the biblical principles are. Pero te diré los principios Just bíblicos. Just because you make more money no solo porque hagas más does dinero, not mean no significa that it reverses the order of the home. Que reversa los órdenes de la casa. Your husband is still your husband. Tu marido siempre tu marido. And he's still the head of the house. Y siempre la cabeza del hogar. Regardless of how much he makes. Indispensable de la situación. So that's the first thing. Es la primera the cosa. Principle. El principio bíblico. But besides the biblical principle. Pero aparte del principio bíblico. You gotta look at the psychological aspect. Tienes que ver el aspecto psicológico. So when that happens. Cuando eso pasa. So it means that if you are demeaning that person. Que si estás eh, demonizando a ese marido. Because your check is bigger. Porque tu cheque es más grande. Not only you are violating a biblical principle no solo está violando un principio bíblico but you're also assaulting the ego the self of the the, the sense of self esteem of that man también estás asaltando su autoestima de ese hombre and if you got, you do something like that y si haces algo de esto it can threaten the marriage puede so what, while you're saying this guy that he, he amounts to nothing but he finds somebody else pero se encuentra alguien más. he finds somebody else encuentra alguien más. who's treating him like a hero que lo trata como un héroe. and suddenly there's issue in the marriage y de repente hay problemas en el matrimonio. does that make sense? ¿Tiene sentido? so uh, protect when you're praying Protege cuando está pray jurando. for your husband's self-esteem Ora por su autoestima. That's very important. Es muy importante. When you are pray, praying for your husband's self-esteem, cuando oras por la autoestima de tu esposo, not only that he doesn't have a low self-esteem, no solo que tenga una autoestima baja, okay, because I, I must tell you also, uh, a man who has a low self-esteem will become sensitive. Porque un hombre con autoestima baja se convierte en sensible. Uh, Yeah, he'll become very sensitive. Se convierte muy sensible. You see, if a man is taking care of his home, si el hombre se encarga del de la, and his de wife la casa, said, baby, y la mujer dice, Bebé, can you help me do the dishes? Puedes ayudármelo con los platos? He can either help 
Él ya sea que ayude. Or if he, if he cannot help, he's busy, he'll probably say that he's busy. O si está ocupado, él te va a decir, estoy ocupado. But he won't make a big deal about it. Pero no va a ser un, un, un But hecho. a man who's not taking care of his home. Pero un hombre que no tiene Or maybe lost lugar. his job. Or maybe trabajo. feels that he's not bringing enough in the home. O que no está And you la casa. say, baby, can you help me to di do the dishes? Y le dice, ¿Puedes con los oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Él dice, yeah. Suddenly, all kinds of things go through his mind. De repente, todas las cosas vienen por su mente. And say, it's because my check is not enough. Y porque dice que mi cheque you see no what I'm saying? Suficiente. The person becomes sensitive. La se When sensitive. the person is dealing with low self-esteem, almost everything baja. can become an argument Todo se en un because the message is misinterpreted. El es mis, es mal Does that make sense? ¿Tiene pray, for, pray against low self-esteem. Pray also against exaggerated self-esteem because the opposite happens too. Porque también lo opuesto pasa. One thing you need to know about man. Una cosa que tienes que saber del hombre. One of the big weaknesses of man. Una de las debilidades del hombre. Is that success often gets to their head. Que el éxito a veces se le llega a la cabeza. When a man becomes successful, un hombre se convierte en exitoso, he also becomes vulnerable to pride. También se convierte en vulnerable al orgullo. Women generally, mujeres generalmente, let's say a woman who's serving the Lord, una mujer que sirve al Señor, you would notice that generally, no matter how much God blesses them, no importa cuánto Dios les bendiga, whether with diploma, ya sean con diplomas, with knowledge, sabiduría, with promotion, promociones, with a good position, con una buena posición, it doesn't change so much their relationship with God. No cambia mucho su relación con Dios. It doesn't change so much their spiritual life. No cambia mucho su vida espiritual. A woman who would you know was serving God when she had nothing Una mujer a Dios no can tenía nada, become a multi-millionaire and still loves God se puede en y aún así a Dios. but a brother Pero un hombre, <laughs> when men get when men become successful el se en exitoso, suddenly they don't want to hear from anybody de repente no quieren escuchar de nadie. suddenly they don't want to take advice de repente no quieren tomar a, They want, sometimes they don't listen to their wives anymore. No a sus mujeres. They don't listen to spiritual leaders. No a sus líderes espirituales. Because I'm a big businessman now. Soy un gran And ahora. sometimes they don't even listen to God. Y a veces no le a Dios. When they were not doing well. No bien, you would see them in the presence of God van a verlo en la but once de they start getting, uh, doing well Pero a pesar de que sometimes bien, you hardly see them in church. Men tend to become vulnerable to success. El hombre se tiende a convertirse en vulnerable Men al éxito. tend to be prideful about their success. Tiende a ser ex, eh, exitoso. So at some point they, they have an exaggerated self-esteem. Y en algún punto tiene una autoestima they exagerada. They get to a point where they feel they can handle everything by themselves. Y llegan al punto que creen que pueden tener todo por sí mismos. Without the input of a wife. Sin without mujer, the covering of a pastor. Sin la cobertura de Without pastor, Advice from God Himself. Si la, uh, de, si often la, pride creates a problem. Dios, eso crea el orgullo. And an exaggerated self-esteem is worse than a low self-esteem. Es peor que una autoestima baja. Because the Bible says pride la Biblia dice que el orgullo precedes the fall. Precede la caída. The moment somebody gets an exaggerated self-esteem, it is an indication that they're about to fall. Es una de que va hasta punto de caer. So the more successful your husband gets, Entre más exitoso tu marido es, the more you need to pray for humility for him. Lo más que que orar por so when you are praying for your husband, pray for humility. Por tu marido, ora por And also you next to him. Y tú también, al, Always él. remind him. You are where you are. Tú estás donde estás. And who you are. Y quién eres. By the grace of God. Por la gracia de Dios. You may be pros you may be yes, you are intelligent. Sí, tú eres yes, you work hard. Sí, but it is the Lord who gives us power Pero es el Señor que te da to poder get wealth, para que seas the rico. intellectual power, the physical power, the creative power, all of that comes 
from God. Todo viene de Dios. And it's important es that that reminder is given que ese sea dado in order to preserve. Para so when you are praying for your husband, por tu marido, number one, pray for his work life. Ora por su vida number two, pray for his self-esteem. Number three, and finally, when you are praying for your husband, y tres, ores por tu marido, pray against sexual temptations. Ora para en contra de las tentaciones sexuales. Pray against sexual temptations. Ora en contra de las tentaciones sexuales. You need to know that sexual temptation. Tienes que saber que las tentaciones sexuales. Uh, uh, sexual temptation. Las tentaciones sexuales. Is a reality. Es una realidad. For every man. Para todo hombre. Sexual temptation. La tentación sexual. Is a battle that every man. Es una batalla que todo hombre has to fight. Tiene que pelear. Now, if a man Ahora, si un hombre tells you that he's never tempted sexually, te dice que nunca ha sido tentado sexualmente, he's either the biggest liar that exists out there, ya sea, va a ser el peor mentiroso, or he's got a bigger problem. O tiene problemas mayores. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sí, sí. Yeah, but if a man tells you, si un te dice, uh, uh, you know, uh, if a man tells you he's tempted sexually, pray for him. Que está but if he él. tells you he's never tempted sexually, go on a 40-day fast. Pero si te dice because que no you're tentado, in trouble, baby. Entra unos 40 días porque esto hace problemas. <laughs> we, we, we're looking at bigger troubles. Eh, vemos a problemas mayores. And here's the reason. Y esta es la razón. Here's what you need to understand. Lo que tienes que entender. Here's why men get tempted every day. Es por eso que el hombre es tentado todos los días. A woman's weakness la debilidad de la mujer is in her ears. Está en los oídos. A woman's weakness is in her ears. La debilidad de la mujer está en los oídos. How did uh, Satan tempt Eve? ¿Cómo Satanás tempt a Eva? You, you remember? ¿Recuerdan? Through words. A través de las palabras. Words, palabras. words. A woman gets tempted by what she hears. La mujer es tentada por lo que escucha. And that's why sometimes you would look at a man. A veces ves a un hombre. And you would look at the brother. Y ves al, al hermano. And you'd be like, man, you y, know. Y dices, <laughs> it seems that he needs some help. Parece que necesita ayuda. And then he introduces you to his wife it's, 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 or girlfriend or tu esposo, or tu, uh, novia, and you see a gorgeous woman. Y ves una mujer and you say, how can such a gorgeous woman y dices, ¿cómo una mujer tan how hermosa, can she be doing, going out with an ugly guy like that? Puede estar saliendo con un tipo feo como él. Well, the brother knows how to talk. Bueno, el hermano sabe cómo hablar. He knows how to talk. Él sabe cómo hablar. <laughs> If a man knows how to talk, si el hombre sabe cómo if hablar, he has the right words, si tiene las palabras correctas, he will charm a woman. Va a encantar una mujer. And by the way, sisters, I, I'll talk about you, sisters, next week. Y, de, hermana, voy a That's de why, ti. sisters, you gotta pay Así attention que, to your ears. Tiene que poner atención a tus oídos. Because yeah. <laughs> a woman's weakness is in her ears. Porque la debilidad está en el oído. Yeah. Sí. Yeah. So there are little compliments. That the co as a woman, there are little compliments that the co-worker is giving you at home. Hay complementos que el, el compañero de trabajo te da. And every time he says that, you say, praise the Lord. Y cada vez que te dice, tú le dices, gloria a Dios. No, you need to stop saying, praise the Lord. Tienes que dejarle and let them know that I'm a married Dios. woman. Y dejarle saber que eres casada. Because if you keep on listening, si it can start shifting puede estar your emotions. Tus emociones. A man's, a woman's weakness is in her ears, la de la mujer está en, but en a oídos. man's weakness is in his, in his eyes. Pero la del está en sus ojos. Women are tempted by what they hear. La mujer se por lo que Men are tempted by what they see. El se por lo que ve. David saw Bathsheba. David vio a And that was the beginning y fue el of the worst chapter of his life de su peor en su vida. when he saw. Vio. So a man is tempted by what he sees. Now, now understand this. Y esto. Every single day, Cada día, we are exposed to about 5,000 um, publicity impressions, impressions, a, a marketing impressions. 
publicity impressions. publicitarias. We are exposed to them up to about 5000 impressions a day. Estamos expuestos a 5000 publicidades al día. And half of those impressions y la mitad de esas publicidades are connected with sex. Están conectadas con el sexo. If you look at so if you count everything that you see when you're driving on the highway. Si cuentas todo lo que ves. How many billboards and banners and different things that you see just driving on the highway when you're scrolling through your phone how many publicities you see when you're watching TV how many you see when you pick up a, a, a magazine when you go to the supermarket publicity is everywhere and almost half of them are related to sex so they want to sell a car, si van a un auto, they're selling a truck, van, van a vender un auto. and they put a, 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 a woman with a bikini y pone una mujer en next to a truck. A la and you wonder, what does, a, you know, what does a truck has to do with that? Que esa tiene que ver con una because mujer in marketing they say sex sells. La marca, dice que so el sexo there's no relationship vende. between her and the truck. No hay una entre but ella they y el put carro, the half-naked woman pero una pone una because, mujer. The, because they know Somebody's gonna look. The man is gonna look because it's instinctive to him. The woman is gonna look because she's gonna compare herself to that person in her mind. But both are gonna look. And that's why you have those everywhere. Sometimes it's overt. Sometimes it's subtle. A veces es it could be just a cleavage Puede ser un, just un cleavage. you know but, it, but it's still there Pero a pesar de que está ahí, so you need to know que saber that a man's weakness que la debilidad del hombre is in his eyes está en sus ojos. and a man is exposed to thousands of sexual messages every day el hombre está expuesto a miles de mensajes al día. so you need to know living in our society Así que viviendo en esta sociedad, is a is a battlefield. Every time your husband gets out, Cada vez que tu se va, it's a battlefield. Entra una batalla. Are you guys with me? Están conmigo? So you need to cover him que because he's getting thousands of messages. Miles he's de being bombarded every day. Está todos los días. So that's another area es otra área. where you need to cover. Que que so I gave you three areas Yo te di tres areas when you are praying for your husband oras por tu marido, to make sure that you cover. Para que lo cubra. Cover his work life. Cubre su vida cover his self-esteem. And cover his sexuality. Y cubre su sexualidad. As, as the Lord to sanctify his eyes. Que el Señor Just sus like ojos. Job had made a covenant with his eyes. Como Job, hizo un, un Job said I have not made my cover, a covenant with my eyes. Job dijo, Yo hice un con mis that ojos. I will not behold a virgin. Que yo voy a ser mantenido virgen. I will not behold a woman. Que no voy a manten, a tomar una now mujer. brothers you need to know. Hermanos, tienen que saber that when you're going out in the mall, que cuando van al mall and you see a, I don't know, a, a half-naked picture, y cuando ven una mujer semidesnuda, it could be a still picture puede ser una mujer, or a motion picture walking in front of you. O una mujer caminando but whatever kind of picture that you see, pero cualquier whether it's still or motion, imagen que tú ves, you need to know the first look is not your fault. Tienes que saber que la primera mirada no es tu but culpa. the second look the first look is not your fault because you can't control what that but the second look <laughs> somebody shout glory but it's important but it's important to control yourself even at what you look because um, because it is in the small stuff. Es en las cosas it, is, it is in the small gestures es en las cosas that you start losing your spiritual immunity. Que a tu it is little by little that your defense es poco a poco que tu breaks down. Se 
You say, I'm never going to get there. Tú dices, Nunca voy a allí. But it is in that little look. Pero es en esa That's mirada. where you have to resist temptation. Es donde que la so you never get there. Para que nunca... If you fight the temptation at that level, si, eh, you never get there. Ese nivel, nunca But vas if a you get weak there, Pero si te débil aquí, then later on you're going to get a little bit of weaker, Pero más allá and later on a little bit weaker, más débil, and later on a little bit weaker, y más adelante, más débil, and before you know it, you'll end up where you never wanted to be. So now today I taught on how to pray, how to pray for your husband. Next week I'm going to pray brothers how to pray for your wife. Hallelujah.